What's good YouTube, it's T-Dunky here. Welcome back to another video. This is the Tom Sachs Nike Marjard 2.0. But before we get into the review, if you guys can like, subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. But yeah, let's get into the review. So this pair is from one of my favorite sellers, Kick Who. And these are the Marjard 2.0s. Uh, let's not talk about the controversy with Tom Sachs right now, but let's take a look at the shoes. So it comes with the booklet. Nike Craft Tom's. Oh, we got the dogs out. Take a look at all these, all the pages in the book. You know, it's pretty cool that they come with these. All you legit checkers, if you want to check out the book. Of course, Kiku, I gotta come with the branding. Two insoles. This like, you know, this material. Very cork sock liner. I haven't tried out these sock liners yet, but yeah. For some reason, paper came nicely folded, not covering the shoe. Also comes with a bag, little paper bag, which is pretty cool. I can craft. Let's actually, let's actually take a look at the box. So, Mars Yard, Ballad of Worn and Worn to Death by you. You know, just take a look at the details on the box. It's pretty cool. I mean, yes, that has some controversial words on here. If you guys. Yeah, right here. You guys want to see that? Little details on the box are pretty cool. Yeah, that's the box. And let's get into the shoes. So this is the Mars Yard 2.0. Some, most of you people, you guys probably don't know what this is. This is a a hype shoe. It's not the most popular shoe in my opinion. It's like, it's an expensive pair. It's like $7,000, but you can pick them up for like a hundred from Kiku. But it's a $7,000 shoe, but I'm pretty sure most people don't know about this shoe. I feel like only sneakerheads know about this shoe. But yeah, let's get into it. So it comes with this nice nubuck type material on the upper all around the shoe. Comes with this like nice netting you know cheap material but the thing about i like about netting on the like toe box area is because it can't crease so if it was leather it would crease pretty bad but it can barely crease with this netting that's what i love about this shoe but the swoosh is a not very soft new book it's interesting it's just this red swoosh with the netting behind it and we got like rope laces, like, I guess you call this paracord? That's cool. If you need it for like survival or anything, of course this is like a survival type of shoe. Very useful, very nice smooth leather in the inside. Let's take out the insoles, why not? Solar system, mesh sock liner, clove hitch, if you Boy Scouts, a lot of you Boy Scouts should know what that is. Take a look at the inside. The shoe's really cool. I love this shoe. Most of you, you guys don't know what this is, but yeah. I'm going to be hiking in these. <laughs> I'm going to be using these as my main hiking shoe. So it's pretty cool that I have now a $7,000 pair <laughs> to hike in, but... Is another side of the sock liner bowline, another useful knot that you need to survive sometimes. But yeah, the shoe's very nice, super good structure, very good traction on the bottom. The sole is kind of hard though. I don't know if it should be mushy, but it's really structured. Like I, I thought it was gonna be more comfortable, but yeah, it's okay. But yeah, that's the Mars Yard. These are from Kiku. I feel like you should go to Kiku if you want to pick these up. But here's the on foot and B roll.